Hey everybody, it's Sam here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these very cute novelty gift tags, little tree decorations, small gifts, it's entirely up to you. Craft Stash are very, very good at making these cool novelty or just alternative ways to give a little gift. You've got Father Christmas, Rudolph, the snowman, you've got the angel, gingerbread and a penguin. They are very, very sweet and they hold these very cute little chocolates. I'm actually going to be giving these, well, each of these is going to be a gift tag on a gift bag filled with presents for each of my closest school friends and we always exchange gifts at Christmas time as i always like to say on a tuesday and a thursday i save those days for tutorials that have a die focus so you need dies to make these which i'll show you but this has also been requested by a few people who have already purchased these dies but there wasn't a tutorial showing you how to put them together so i'm hoping that this tutorial will help you as well so let's get started and i'll show you how to make these very cute little gifts so first we'll make santa so you get nine dies in this set so i've already gone ahead and cut everything that i need so what i did when i cut these ones i just popped them in my scoreboard and just went over the the line that will emboss there just so it was a bit more defined and just easier to fold and i'm just going to add a little glue onto one side there then you're going to take the other one but you want to make sure that you have it so that when it's open let me just see which way i'll do this yeah that way so you see they're both facing the same way because these aren't symmetrical so you've got the little bit of his pom-pom from his hat there so i want that to be the same when they're together so i'm going to just rather than having it as it cuts so just make sure they're both facing the same way and i'm just going to sit that one over the top So what will happen is you'll pop the sweet in and then it will come up and it will just wrap around it. So it will just kind of spread out a bit like so. So it will hold the sweet. You won't need any adhesive or anything. Then you want to cut all of these pieces here. So if I just pop to one side the ones that I've used. So this main one here is for his beard. So we'll stick that one down next. And it all perfectly lines up. Just follow the shape of that base piece, like so. You've got this shape die here, which will give you the face, and that will sit perfectly inside there. This die here are all the pieces that are in black. So you've got his mouth, his eyes, and his boots. So just pass that through, and I've got, you can see those pieces there. So the mouth is really easy. You just want to pop that down into the shape there and then again the boots you can see where it lines up so I'm just going to add some glue there and you can see in the image it's more pointy down here so you'll see the pointy part on that one so just line it up now for the arms I'm actually going to pop these up on a little bit of foam just so that just to add a little bit of a 3D effect. So I'm going to stick the little cuffs on first. So this one here will give you these shapes. And then this one and this one are your arms. So just cut those out. They've got them in a slightly different colour red on there. I guess it's just so you can see them more on the image on the front. But I'm keeping it all the same colour. So I'm going to add a little glue first. Just on there. You don't need a lot. And then you want the cuffs facing down and again just position them into the shape of the arms I'm just going to cut a foam pad in half here because I don't need all of that and pop one there and one there I think that will hide behind them and you'll see this shape here needs to line up with this piece here. So you'll see you've got those kind of two curves. That's these two curves here. So I'm just going to wrap those around like so. And again with this one. And then again with the nose, I think I'm going to just pop that up on a little bit of foam. So that's just this little die here. And again, you'll see exactly where that needs to sit. And then for the eyes, I'm just going to pop a little glue either side. Just using my little pickup tool here. Just gives you, 
If you use your liquid glue, you can just kind of position them until you're happy. How cute is he? And then what I've done with the, this one here's optional if you want to have it as a hanging decoration, all of mine are going to be hanging. So I've cut this one twice in red, one for the front, one for the back, and then again in silver for the front one, just so it's got a little bit of shine, but that's completely optional. I'm just going to add a little glue to the bottom and then actually I'm just thinking I need to add the silver on top of that first. I'm wondering now whether to use the silver. I actually quite like it with the red. I'm going to leave this red so actually we'll keep it like so and then I'm going to add a little glue to there. Pop this behind this one like so and then just line them up with each other and that way everything's in the right place. So all of the sweets and the string I'm going to add at the very end of this video but for now that's Father Christmas already. Okay next we're going to use the very sweet angel here so I've cut the main body again twice and I've used this lovely pale blue here and I'll show you what I mean about just scoring the bottom so you'll see it leaves the lines there but by scoring them it just it just reduces the cracking that you might get so just run that one through and again oh. And just fold those like so. So this is kind of symmetrical but not quite so I'm just going to pop them both the same way but pop this one so it faces towards me. I'm just going to run my glue all the way along the bottom and then sit that one over the top. So now they all line up with each other. So again, I'll just talk you through all the pieces. So for the hair here, I'm just following all the colours on the packaging. So I think it looks really nice. So I'm just going to add my glue. And then just line it all up with the outline. This one here is the face. This one here is for the hands. Those two there. You want them just so they wrap around that ball shape there. And these, again, I think I'm going to pop up on a little bit of foam. Looks about right. And then I'm just going to add a little glue to the very edges there. And you've got this die, which is the cuffs. So I've just cut that in white. It is blue on the image, but I just thought white would look quite nice. And again, you just want to just attach each one just on the very edge like so that looks very cute for the wings i have used this kind of light gray color here and i'm just thinking which one i actually want to stick this i think i'm going to stick it behind the front one but you could put it behind the back one if you wanted to so i'm just going to add a little glue there and they've got it kind of coming down just behind the hair and the arm I think that's about right. You could use vellum here if you wanted to. You could heat emboss it. I think these would be really sweet for a party. It could be like a fairy party. So you could decorate them slightly differently. And they'd be lovely little like alternative party bags. I think they're very cute. There we go. Then for the halo, I've cut it once in white and once in black. by using this dye just to make it strong. There was no other reason. And I'm just going to add just a little glue behind it there. And just stick those on top of each other. I'm not going to stick that down just yet. I want to stick these first. So I'm just going to add a little glue. So again, you've got your circle die there. So I'm just going to pop that one behind. And then Put that one behind. You could just add the glue this way if you wanted to. And then just line that up. So now it's attached to the back in the right place. And now I can attach the halo because it does just slightly overlap. So I'm just going to add a little glue in the middle. Don't need to cover the whole thing. And it's running just in line that and slightly lifted there we go just remove some of that glue 
how cute is this one looking? Okay, then you've got this die here, which is for the face. So I've run it all through using black card to give me the mouth and the eyes. And then I just popped it through again using some pink card. You could just run these detail kind of dies, the smaller ones. Just pass it through using white card and then use your pens to colour the colours that you want. So that's another quick way to do it. So I'm going to add tiny, tiny, there we go, a little bit of glue for the mouth. If you have it on an angle, it's like she's got a little cheeky and a grin. And then the eyes. Again, I'm just following the positioning on the packaging. I always say when you're adding eyes and features to something, if you bring the eyes closer together or bring them further apart, it completely changes the expression. So have a little play around. You could also pop googly eyes on here if you wanted to. There we go. And then little cheeks, little glue. And then you've got these tiny little flowers, which, you know, you don't have to add. But they do look quite sweet. You can see them in her hair there. But you might have some little holly dyes. You know, there's so much more you can add to this with things you might already have in your stash. So I'm going to add one there, one there. And there's the angel all finished. How cute is she? She's beautiful. Okay, next up is Jerry the gingerbread. So again, I've cut those twice. I think my browns were actually two different colours. I thought it was the same, but it's not going to matter. I'm just going to score over those lines. I'll just fold both of those tabs over and then I'm just going to make sure one's got the tabs facing forward so one's got the tabs facing forward one's got the tabs facing back and I'm going to attach those together you've then got this die here so you want to cut that four times and it will give you this icing and you want to just sit them over each of the arms and the bottom of the legs. Then I cut this die here. So I cut it again, like I said, pass it through in white and then you could color the eyes in black and then the cheeks in pink. But I just passed it through once in black, once in pink and once in the white to give me all of the pieces I need. Then I've also got the circle die. I think I am going to use the silver on the front of this one just to break up all of the brown using that die. And then the bow tie, I've cut one in red and one in blue so I wasn't sure what colour I was going to use next. So I'm going to stick all of those pieces down. So that's the gingerbread all stuck down. I decided to go for the blue bow tie. I think it does look quite cute. So next we've got the penguin. So I'm just attaching that exactly the same way as I showed you on the others. You can see the die there. And then you want to cut, oh my, I cut two there because you don't need to. So you've got your body. So I've just cut that in white card. And then you're just going to line that up with the circle. Just position it so you've got a nice equal border along the top there. And then you've got this die here for the feet. So I've just cut that in orange. So they're going to go either side. Again, with this one, I've got the silver and then two in black. So I will add those so I can hang it. And then this die here, I just passed it through in black and then passed it through again in pink and then also again in orange for the beak, which is in the back here. because I had these all ready before. There we go. So again, I'm going to get these all stuck down. That's the penguin all finished. Very, very cute. I'd probably say so far he's the easiest. To be fair, they're all easy. But in terms of how many pieces, that's, I think, got the least. Okay, so now onto the snowman. So again, I've cut the main body twice. And I'm just going to fold over the tabs. Okay. And then again, just add my glue onto the back of one of them. And just place that over the other. So I've cut the hat in the red and then you've got this die here for the trim and then the pom-pom I've done in white. It is in yellow on there but I've chosen white. 
So I'm going to stick all those down. So I've just popped that up on a little bit of foam there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue. And then I might position this a little bit on an angle, I think. There we go. Now you do have stencil detail here as well on this die for the scarf. Mm. I'm just going to leave mine plain like the trim there, but you can stencil it and add like a darker ink colour to it. So now I'm just going to add a bit of glue just along the neck there and then just position that. And then you've got this die here, so you just want to pass that through using black and it will give you the mouth and the eyes. The eyes are just slightly bigger. Pass this die through in orange, so you've got your carrot nose. And then this one here, I've just cut two in the white and I'll show you how to attach them because you've got the hat in place there. So you just, it's slightly different. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to just stick it on the back first. So, and then just line it up with the back one instead and then just close it. So it's just opposite to all the other ways that I've done it. So once that's dry, you're still able to thread your string through there and have it hanging. So that's the snowman done. So now the last one is very cute, Rudolph the reindeer. So again, you want to cut the main die twice and just check in if they are symmetrical, which it is. So I can just flip that one round, add my glue. Measurements are on the front here and also on the listing on the website as well, so you can get more of an idea. Now, what I've done for the antlers, I've actually cut them. So you've got one for the left, one for the right. I've cut them both twice and I'm just going to layer them up because they're going to be stuck and coming up quite high. One on its own was just a little bit flimsy. So I'm just going to add some glue onto this one. Your card you're using may be much stronger, but this particular card that I've chosen is quite lightweight. I'm just going to place that over the top. Give that a minute to dry, but it just makes it much stronger now to stick down. I'm just sticking down the little rings first because I think they'll be easier to attach before I add the antler detail. So just the same way as I've shown you on the others. But just get them down now. And then it's, yeah, you haven't got all of this in the way then. So now I'm going to stick each of these down. So it's only a little bit that you're attaching. So just at the bottom there, it's that one actually by the looks of the picture. So they've actually got theirs a bit higher up, but I'm going to come down a little further. Just so they've got a bit more surface space. You've then got this die here, which will cut the centres of the ears. I'm going to stick those down next, just a little glue. And then the eyes and the mouth is using this die. So I just passed it all through using black card, like so. So his nose is the sweet. So once I get the chocolate added, that's going to bring out his nose. Cheeks. This little die here. I'm going to add those in before I add the mouth because then it just helped me create his expression a bit better once all these bits are in place. So, like I said earlier, you know, here they have the mouth positioned slightly off to the left, but you could have it in the middle. I just place it down there, and once his nose is there, but there is something about moving the mouth slightly off to one side, and it's just more of a smirk than a little bit cheeky. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue there and just spread that out. Okay, and there's Rudolph all finished. So I'm going to go now and select all the ribbons that I want to use, get the sweets all ready, and then I will show you how to add those and tie them all up. So for the chocolates, I went to Sainsbury's. There's probably other superstores as well that have a Lindor kind of station, and you can fill one of these trays which will fit eight for £4.50 which I thought worked perfectly for this because like I said each one is going to go on a friend's gift bag for Christmas. Now you could if say you're just doing a load of Santas then you could just get a box of the red ones that's already done for you but the reason I went for this option is because the different colours like the salted caramel I thought would complement the angel with her blue dress, the gingerbread I've gone for the what's this one here 
hazelnut. So we've got the brown, the black and the silver I thought would work nice on the penguin. I got another blue or maybe it was that one. Did I think? No, yeah, salted caramel. And then he's going to have the, I think that's like a milky chocolate one. I'm not sure. And then I got another red for Santa and then two for me. So it worked out perfectly. So really easy to pop in. I've used some um, natural baker's twine for Rudolph and you can see it just holds itself in. It won't fall out. So I'll just show you this one here. So just pop that one in. So I think for him, I'm going to use, I might use the Baker's Twine again. Yeah, I think I'll use Baker's Twine again on him. And then I've got black and white for the penguin. I've got blue for the snowman. Red and white for Santa. So I'm just going to, I'll just show you this one. I just looped it through. So just kind of double it up and then loop it through from the back. And that's what holds it together. These are really, I mean, these are great to make, I think, with the kids, but they're also good for batch making as well. Just die cut a ton of them. And I think they're going to be really nice for craft fairs as well. So if you're preparing for Christmas, these are going to be great. I mean, I'm not sure what the expiry date is on these, but I'm hoping. Let me know. Will these last till Christmas? If not, I'll just eat them all and buy them again nearer the time. So it's not the end of the world. I'm definitely not going to worry if I've got to, if I'm made to eat some chocolates, but I'm going to carry on now and get the rest of these all attached and then I'll show you them all finished. Again, I'll just show you the snowman here. So just go through the back one and then you just kind of have to bend the front forward a little bit so you can get that in and then just loop it through. I mean, you might just want to tie a knot in yours. You might have a different way of doing it, but again, you can see now how that's all secured nicely. Okay, so that's them all finished. What I may do nearer the time is add a smaller little gift tag with their name on, or I might die cut some of their initials. I've got lots of different size alphabet dies and pop their initials on here. We'll see, but for now, I think these are adorable. I'm very, very pleased with me, these. Let me know which one is your favourite. I think for me, has to be Father Christmas. I think he's very cute. I adore the angel. I think she's just really nice. And I think you can use her all year round because I also think if you removed the wings and even the halo, you've got a pretty little girl there and she could be holding like a little card or a present. So I think there's other ways to use her. Snowman's cute. Love him and him and the penguin as well. They're all really nice, but I think favourites for me are these two. I think they're lovely. So thank you as always for watching today. I hope this has helped those of you that have been asking. because I did have a few, like I said, requests in my Facebook group of people asking or if there was a tutorial showing how to put these together. So hopefully that has helped you there. And popping up now, I'll have some more fun like novelty festive tutorials you may want to go and watch one of those next and if you've enjoyed today please give me a thumbs up it really does help out the channel and if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any future videos from me take care and i'll see you all again soon bye